Planet Middami. The Ethereals seem pleased with your progress. This planet has the potential to be very rich with life. You are to collect 1400 units of goop from the surface by recycling the forests and dead creatures. You got it. To the far reaches of space. And so we have our first challenge of the game, in which we are, have no extractor to use for our early economy. We're forced to use this new structure, the recycling plant. This prevents the waste of trees and dead creatures by converting them into goop. Use mules to help with the recycling. have arrived. Immediately. Now the main thing here is we're going to have to use our botanist micro. Oh no, hang on, it's the wrong plant. That's bad micro. Bad micro. Because... We are not allowed to harvest this under the rules of my challenge. This plant, the Flank's Root, grows nice and grassy terrain, offering good nutritional value for your creatures. It's a good plant, but it's also two seeds. We want to stick with one seed plant for this challenge. So now, let's start harvesting those plants. Let's keep spreading the forest out as much as possible. As you can see, the mules harvest the trees and bring them to the recycling plant. Help. Immediately. Immediately. Your growing program is implemented. Let's construct some goop fats. They bolster goop gene lag goop stores by containing excess goop until needed. To reach our target, we will need two goop storage. As you can see though, we have a nice quantity of terranium bulbs coming up. This is how the economy of the game works. We need to harvest enough plants totally built that thing. to fill up our recycling plant and the various Hiya. bits of goop. Checking our mission objective for a moment, we need 1400 units of goop. We should have enough storage now. Hiya. I think so. The mules are doing well. And as you can see, our terranium forest is really doing well. By spreading out the terranium bulbs, they stop uh, overcrowding and allow them to grow quite naturally out and spread. I've almost finished off these flanks roots, but let's get the, the biggest ones because they've got the highest value. Two meals should be enough. We can now start to use the bulbs. Hey Mule, you, you dropped something. There, pick it up. The Ethereals have arrived. Can I help? As you can see though, our forest is doing really well. By spreading out the plants, it's just working so much better. It's hard work with the mules whittling the down their numbers. Have left now. You missed, Mule. It's right there. You could go get that at the flanks route. Get some of these big ones. They have more value. There's no need to explore in this particular map. There's no plants we're going to miss. Don't, don't forget the, the plant. Mules are doing well. Couple more bulbs and we should be good to go. Oh, 
Oh, so close. Bobs do not produce much m content. But that should be enough. And oh, no, hang on, we got some extra good that we started the game with. We need to actually have it in storage, not in starting funds. But we're pretty close. Lots of more. The growing program is implemented. Oh, who let the cat in? Immediately. Immediately. Just like that, we now have 1,400 units of goop stored. Your governmental organizations are satisfied at your, of your efforts at goop production. Truly your team is adept at bring, bringing better ecologies to the far-flung planets crying out for them. Science is proving itself master over every planet that we explore. And that concludes the third level of Gene Wars, uh, Madame. Stay back next time for the fourth level, where we start to bring these, all these things we've learnt so far with an actual competing AI opponent. See you then. Thank you.